According to the latest Bloomberg survey, investors are bullish on commodities for the new year. That is, of course, after gold hit record highs this year, oil trading near $100 a barrel. So right now we want to welcome Ed Meir. He is the senior commodity analyst at MF Global, and he's joining us on the phone from Darien, Connecticut. Ed, thanks so much for being with us this morning. Uh, you do say that, in general, commodity prices will go up in the new year, but you're looking for a correction. When and why? Well, that's a very hard call to make, but I think what's going to happen is uh, this momentum we're seeing in commodities as an asset class will probably continue into 2011. Um, however, the danger with, with these things, as with all these uh, spirals, is that when uh, prices get too high, you inevitably trigger some consequences. In, in the case of commodities, you know, we could get inflationary pressures. In fact, we're already seeing those rise in, in a number of Asian countries. You could trigger demand destruction. Uh, you, you can uh, generate a, a substitution. And, you know, you put all the package together, that, that leads to lower growth and even possibly uh, a slowdown. And I want to pick up on something that you said about inflation, because we heard from the People's Bank of China, of course, Christmas Day, increasing interest rates. Are you confident of the way that some of the emerging markets, countries, China included, is managing their potential inflation problem? Well, um, despite their rate rise, the, uh, their inflation rate is still running ahead of their interest rates. So th the Chinese probably have to uh, raise their rates several more times next year. Uh, and they need to do it because the other kind of piecemeal approaches haven't been working. You know, they're, they're kind of mo trying to macro-manage sectors, trying to rein in growth, but they need to use interest rates to generate a economy-wide slowdown. So I think to answer your question, yes, they, they probably have to. Uh, inflation is a big problem, especially for, for China, uh, and the government definitely wants to nip that in the bud before it, it leads to more uh, potential civil unrest. So, Ed, it does sound like you're more or less with the consensus view that in the first half of the year we will see the People's Bank of China raise interest rates two or three more times. We know uh, Morgan Stanley, J.P. Morgan Chase of that view as well. Ed, before we let you go, I want to ask you if we are going to see a rally in the first half of the year for some of these commodities, gold, silver, oil, how high do you think the prices for those three in particular are going to go before the correction? Um, I think oil could get to between uh, 100 and 110 dollars for first half of next year. Gold, I think we have a shot of hitting 1500. Uh, I forgot your third one. Silver, uh, if you silver, have it. Silver may be up to uh, 33 or 34. Okay, and as far as the timing, I know you said it's pretty hard to call when there's going to be a correction, but you do have these macro concerns, especially coming from uh, the emerging markets and inflation. Ed, we thank you so much. Ed Meir joining us there on the phone from Darien, Connecticut. He is with MF Global. He is a senior commodities advisor there.